Hi and welcome to the tutorial about the new CSS screen media queries. I am Mike and I'm going to show you today uh, how to use the media queries that CSS3 provides. A media query consists of a media type that is screen, handheld, all, aural, etc. everything that CSS2 has to customize with already, and expressions involving media features. The basic idea of media features is that the browser will decide which style it will use based on how big is the screen size, is it widescreen, team set, so practically anything visual. So let's start. Here we have a simple page. Um, that's pretty simple, yes. Uh, header, two paragraphs in an ordered list. Let's add some styling to that. We are going to link uh, style sheet that I named normal CSS and we're going to add a bigger bigger header size we're going to add some border for our uh, paragraphs let's say two pixels dot orange and we're going to use uh, square as list list type style type square and we're going to refresh it yep it looks great uh, now we want to ensure that this uh, look will be visible only on larger displays to do that we specify a media type that in this case is min width 500 pixels and we have to wrap it in parentheses otherwise the browser will will not recognize that it is a media feature and will simply skip this style shit and it looks good still now we want to add a style sheet, style sheet for uh, smaller size screens. So we're just going to change min width to max width, and we're going to add 499, so they won't uh, bite each other. I'm just going to click copy this and change some values. Here we're gonna go with 15. Here we're gonna go with 1px solid uh, blue and here we're going with circle now when I will refresh it it will look like this but if I am going to resize the window below 500 pixels it will change the style and it changes back I can also add the style for uh, widescreen ratio just any what any ratio any screen ratio I want that is just adding here we're going to change to widescreen and here device aspect ratio in my case it is uh, 16 and 10 and here we are with this one so we're going to change just our uh, header to use uh, courier new and here we are it uses courier new and Chrome and Firefox and Internet Explorer doesn't know a thing about this so we're just going to quick add uh, one more line on the beginning just to use media all and we're going to use a normal CSS as a quick fix and it works so I hope you uh, enjoyed that video now you know how to utilize media features available in CSS3 uh, visit my blog and until next time, see ya!